the United House Gold Cup is next. There's a two mile five furlong race. And quite a big field for this one. Should be a pretty good one. It's a grade three. And at the top we've got Dimwit for Greg Beck with Gold Coast for Kevin Minahan, Loyal Ally Leon Van Rensburg, Satic on Chips for David Robertson. The Long Paws, a winner last week for Joshua Sutherland, Akane Byrne, Martin Leader, Artistic Rose, David Hooley, Carbon Neutral for Graham Clutterbuck, Gated Complex for Darren Thompson was a winner last week, Northern Life, Kevin Minahan, Quantum Leap, Paul Rhodes, Sapphire and Steel, Martin Leader, Skyron Drove, David Robertson, that was a winner last week as well, Trick Fantasy for Leon Van Rensburg and Verglass for Alex Cherry, so good field of 15 are away and racing, heading towards the first of the fences in this one and they've got 16 of them to take and Gold Coast or oh, Kevin Meenahan is pulling for its head and wants to lead early it would seem and they spread right across the track here and one or two of these jockeys are going to need to make a decision as to whether they're going to try and make a forward move and cut in or whether they're going to drop back and cut in because you don't really want to be running this far wide all the way around as they get over the first and we'll safely over the first of the 16 with Gold Coast. Six lengths clear, very short run to the second, and then all over that one, and they seem to be going a pretty good pace as well, with Gold Coast setting that pace as they get to the first of the ditches, which they're all safely to the other side of, with Gold Coast clear over the fourth. Those first four fences coming up pretty quick. And they're gonna lead for Gold Coast of about three lengths, to Dimwit in second, then Sapphire and Steel and Gated Complexes after that one. And the long pause as they just much longer run to the fifth. And towards the back of the field, Artistic Rose, probably just a back marker in the purple jacket, and alongside Carbon Neutral on Graham Clutterbuck as they get to the fifth, which they all get over nicely with Gold Coast second, a stiff pace, six lengths clear of Dimwit in second for Craig Beckwith in the blue. With the white sleeves and the maroon with the white sleeves of Gated Complex. The maroon closer to us of Akane Burn is next as they get over the sixth, which they're all safely over. All those Saticon chips made a mistake at the back of the field. So coming up past the stand then and past the winning post shortly, and they'll go out for another circuit of the track. And the Gold Coast is sitting at a pretty stiff pace. So Gold Coast it is then who shows the way in the lead from Dimwit in second, then Gated Complex is third, and the long pause is four, and all ally is five, and Sapphire and Steel is six, and I can't burn is seven, and Quantum Leap is eight, and Trick Fantasy is nine, and then Northern Glass is ten, then Verglass and Skyron drove, and finally the back three, Artistic Rose, and the two that are a little bit detached by a length or two, Carbon Neutral and Saticon Chips. But Gold Coast racing downhill into this next one. He's a good two or three clear, slow jump by Akane Burn, closest to us in the maroon with the yellow cap, but it's Gold Coast in front. A long pause has moved into second. Then comes Sapphire and Steel, Trick Fantasy is next, then Dimwit as they take the eighth. These ones that come up pretty quick down this part of the track the mistake there was by gated complex gold coast is still the leader though gold coast from the long pause and trick fantasy then sapphire and steel as they take this ditch over that ditch they go looking to the back satic on chips is still the back marker but it's gold coast in the lead with a mile left to race and gold coast lands over the 10th in the lead with a clear lead of four or five lengths again to the long pause in second then sapphire and steel loyal ally is next and then arcane burn quantum leaps trying to get into it verglas is also there as well with Carbon Neutral, Skyron Drove is trying to get much closer. Quantum Leap's the one that's trying to sneak up the inside, but it's Gold Coast who leads by about three lengths to the long pause in second. Sapphire and Steel, Quantum Leap, then Loyal Ally and Akine Burn. Then comes Skyron Drove and Trick Fantasy as they take the 11th, and over that one they all go, and now the lead has been joined by the long pause. The long pause coming to join Gold Coast. Over the 12th they go, moving into third, then now is Akane Burn on the outside with Loyal Ally down on the on the inside round quantum leap as they get over that ditch they're all over it okay with gold coast and the long pause disputing the lead then arcane burn here comes carbon neutral coming through with a strong looking challenge as well but it's the long pause who's a length clear from on the inside gold coast trying to fight back plenty in with chances here comes carbon neutral trick fantasy loyal ally quantum leap sky on drove sapphire and steel arcane burn they're all still there artistic rose is trying to come around the outside also coming from the back northern life is running on well as well they're 
They've only got two more fences to take, and Gold Coast has regained the lead from the long pause and trick fantasy over the second last they go. Mistake there was by Lord Alloy. That's beaten there. But there's three in a line as they come down towards the final fence. It's the long pause, trick fantasy, Gold Coast, three in a line. As they come towards this final fence, the long pause is now just beginning to go on again. Gold Coast is trying to fight back. Akai and Burn is trying to run on over the final fence as they go. And it's the long pause in the lead. Gold Coast is now looking held in second. It's the long pause in front, but Gold Coast is really and trying to find something else and he's beginning to get back up again on the inside and Gold Coast has regained the lead and Gold Coast is going to take it Gold Coast is the winner from the long pause in second then a Sapphire and Steel and Trick Fantasy and Akon Burn and Skyron drove dim with after that and all the way back in the end it's in carbon neutral who finished out the back and what a brave performance by Gold Coast who look beaten, I think the mommy nearly near, near enough top weight as well. So a great performance there for Kevin Meenan's Gold Coast, who looked beaten but has got back up to take it. And Gold Coast is the winner for Kevin Meenan, the long pause second for Joshua Sutherland, Sapphire still for Marceline was third, Trick Fantasy for Leon Van Rensburg was fourth, and Quantum Leap for Paul Rhodes was fifth.